We are in the middle of a global water crisis, but it's hidden. I've seen it and I want the world to see it too. I'm right here in Narrabri in regional New South Wales to meet local Australian cotton growers and peak industry bodies to find out how they've been able to reduce their water use through optimising technology and innovation. I'm very interested that farmers, especially in Australia, and cotton farmers in particular, have got such a bad name. What would you say to people who think that you are evil and you are the cause of all of Australia's water woes? I would invite them to come and have a look. I'd like to invite them to come and have a look and have a talk and come to understand the actual regulations and rules we follow. Every water source we have is measured by either a meter or a, a sensor that will calculate how much water is coming into the system. Water use efficiency is at the cornerstone of everything that we do here. Water's life. None of us exist without it. Um, and everybody deserves to have a fair share. And I believe Australia has got the most advanced um, uh, framework um, for water sharing anywhere in the world. I think it's something we should be proud of. I believe that if the rest of the world had similar structures as we do, um, we would have a more productive world with the water that we do have. This year, 2022, marks 30 years of water use efficiency in Australian cotton. Benchmarks like the ones set by the Australian agricultural industry in 1991 are critical in helping us to solve the global water crisis and helping us to solve the gap on targets set out in the United Nations Sustainable Development Goal 6. Targets to ensure everyone across the world has access to clean water and sanitation. Unfortunately, we are way off track to reach these targets by 2030. This is why Thirst Foundation is running a global campaign called Run Blue with the support of Bayer, governments, NGOs, organisations and other corporate partners. The Run Blue campaign inspires companies and connects people across the world to take meaningful action on water in the lead up to the first conference on water at the United Nations in almost 50 years. It's going to take place in New York City on World Water Day in March 2023. Bayer is proud to be a founding partner of Run Blue and to welcome Thirst Foundation founder and CEO Mina Gooley to the cotton growing region of Narrabri in New South Wales. Guided by our purpose, science for a better life, and in pursuit of our vision, health for all, hunger for none, Bayer is dedicated to helping people and the planet thrive. Bayer knows exactly how important water is for the future of humankind. The protection and management of all natural resources, including water, is an integral part of our commitment to sustainable development. As the world's leading agriculture company, we have both a responsibility and an opportunity to provide farmers with water smart solutions to better manage water resources and grow crops in a sustainable manner. And we're working to understand the needs of farmers in each different geography to do that. Run number 22, just outside of Narrabri on Andrew Watson's cotton farm this morning, which is glowing and spectacular. This is a great Australian water success story. Back in 1991, cotton became the first Australian agricultural industry to benchmark its environmental performance. You know, we've come such a long way and you know, we can clearly demonstrate that we've improved our water use efficiency by over 50% and, and that's, that's huge and we've done it through investing in research and development. The gains we've made over the last 30 years in water use efficiency and reducing the amount of pesticide, we're very proud of how far we've come and we certainly believe that there's areas like evaporation where we can do more and if we can solve that one, you know, we could make another huge advance in driving uh, the water use efficiency of the Australian cotton industry. Companies like Bayer are particularly important in helping to solve the water crisis, as the business sector is the largest user of water, almost 90%, and therefore action from companies can have a meaningful and fast impact on the global water crisis. Thankfully, the solutions we need to solve the water crisis are already available. I've seen some amazing solutions being utilised right here in Narrabri. By sharing the positive outcomes, I hope to not only raise awareness for the technology, 
but to drive urgent action from others right across the world.